Hey guys, Float Valve back here with another new video. So in today's video, I'm going to present an awesome app called Flashfire. So what's so awesome about this app, you may ask? So basically, this app allows you to flash the latest version of Android on your Nexus device, rooted of course, without the use of a computer. You hear me? Without your computer. This is so useful for many different reasons. It prevents you from typing all those annoying lines of codes where you can mess up and forget to install your recovery or stuff like that. Basically, all of that is over just with this app. So let's get straight up into this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open Google Chrome. And uh, I'm going to give you the link down below. But basically, you're going to want to go to the XDA for Flash Fire. So then there's a link and you can sign as a uh, better developer. So I'm already a tester and then you can download it on the Play Store. So I have already done that. So then you're going to want to go to the Google factory image website, which is also going to be down in the description. So you're going to select the version for your device. So you can choose the most the most recent one. So I'm going to download the most recent one. And then it should take about a minute or two, depending on your Wi-Fi. Mine is pretty fast, but it's big files. When it's done, you're going to want to exit and open up Flash Fire. So it should take a few seconds just getting prepped. And yeah, detecting ODA. So if it detects an ODA, you want to cancel it because it's not going to install on the Nexus devices. So now you're going to want to look for the firmware package. So the zip you just downloaded for your specific OS. So here it is. It should be around a gigabyte. So then when you add it up, it's going to take a little bit of time. So it's going to ask you for a few options. So if you have a custom recovery like me, TWRP, you're going to unselect this. And then uh, you can add up some few options, but I would recommend this. And then you can also, a pretty cool thing, you can add exposed installer if you want, so that it will automatically install the zip for exposed installer. So you just need to have it up, select the right version, and then put the little check. And then you should be good, and you just need to click flash. And so then what's going to happen is that you should see uh, a black screen for a few seconds, and then a bunch of text is going to go down scrolling. So then after that, it's going to flash uh, your image and the system and all that stuff that you selected. So this can take up to 15 minutes. And uh, when it reboots, also, it might take a little bit of time. And then when you come back, everything is going to be normal. You'll be rooted. All your exposed installer stuff and modules will be still installed and working, which is awesome. So I'm going to check for root real quick. And as you can see, my phone is still rooted. So yeah. Okay guys, so that was it for today's video. So I hope that you enjoyed this tool and that you use it as much as I do. So enjoy using this. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.